everybody, it's me, Max. I'm so glad you are joining me for story time. Stick around to the end of the book for a special prize. I'm excited to find out what book we are going to read. So let's find out with Mr. Narrator. Take it away. Thanks, Max. Well, is everyone ready for the story? Great, let's go. Today's story time storybook of the day is Seeing Red by Robert Munch. Ari, said Alex, your hair is fantastic. You're the only kid in the whole school with red hair. What is the secret? Well, said Ari, it really is a secret and I'm not supposed to tell anyone, but I will tell you because you are my best friend. I was not born with red hair. I turned it red by eating tomatoes, lots of tomatoes. I eat 10 big red tomatoes for breakfast every day. The next morning, Alex ate 10 big red tomatoes for breakfast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then he ran to the bathroom to look at his hair in the mirror. It was still black. Alex ran to Ari's house and yelled, Look at my hair, Ari. It is still black, Ari. What is going on, Ari? What is going on? Oh, said Ari, I forgot about the ketchup. How could I forget about the ketchup? You have to drink a large bottle of red ketchup after you eat the tomatoes. Right, said Alex. That makes a lot of sense. I should have thought of that. The next day for breakfast, Alex ate 10 big red tomatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drank a large bottle of red ketchup, glug, 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 and was almost sick. Quack. Then Alex ran to the mirror and looked at his hair. It was still black. He ran to Ari's house and yelled, Look at my hair, Ari. It is still black, Ari. What is going on, Ari? What is going on? Let me think, said Ari. Oh, I forgot the most important thing. After the tomatoes and the ketchup, you have to drink a bottle of very red, very hot Mexican pepper sauce. It sets the color. That makes a lot of sense, said Alex. I should have thought of that myself. The next day, Alex ate 10 big red tomatoes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Drank a large bottle of red ketchup. Glug, 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 glug. And was almost sick. Glug. Then he started to drink a bottle of very red, very hot Mexican pepper sauce. Glug, 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 glug. Ah, ah, ah. Green smoke came out of one ear, red smoke came out of his other ear, and fire came out of his nose. Alex ran into the kitchen, put his head under the faucet until the steam stopped coming out of his nose, and then he said, I think Ari is fooling me. Well, I'm going to fool Ari. Alex went to school and said, Hey Ari, it worked, it worked, it worked. My hair turned red. But I didn't like my hair red, so I changed it back to black. Wow, said Ari. How did you do that? Easy, said Alex. I ate ten long pieces of black licorice. On the way home, Ari bought ten long pieces of black licorice and ate them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then he ran to the bathroom and looked at his hair in the mirror. It was still red. He ran to Alex's house and yelled, Look at my hair, Alex! It's still red, Alex. What is going on, Alex? What is going on? Oh, said Alex, I forgot about the coffee. You have to grab a cup of your dad's coffee and drink the whole thing. Right, said Ari. That makes a lot of sense. I should have thought of that. So Ari went home and ate 10 more long pieces of black licorice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Drank a large cup of his dad's black coffee. 
glug, 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 and was almost sick. Quack. Then he ran to a mirror and looked at his hair. It was still red. Ari ran to Alex's house and yelled, Look at my hair, Alex. It is still red, Alex. What is going on, Alex? What is going on? Let me think, said Alex. Oh, I forgot the most important thing. After the licorice and the coffee, you have to eat a whole box of black pepper. It sets the color. Right, says Ari. That makes a lot of sense. I should have thought of that. So Ari went home and ate 10 long pieces of black licorice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Drank a large cup of his dad's black coffee. Glug, 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 glug. And was almost sick. Quack. Then Ari ate a whole box of black pepper. Chomp, 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 chomp. Ah, ah, ah! Green smoke came out of one ear, red smoke came out of the other ear, and fire came out of his nose. Ari put his head under the kitchen faucet until the steam stopped coming out of his nose. Ha! Ah, he said, Alex fooled me too. He ran to Alex's house and said, I know how our hair can be the same. Let's both make it purple. The end. I hope you enjoyed the story. Now back to Max. Great job finishing the book. What did you think? Great. This was a good book. They just kept playing. They were playing jokes on each other, basically. And, you know, how I get my fur the color that it is? I eat lots and lots of vegetables. No, it is, it is, that's not true. It does. It is naturally like this. All right. Here is your prize. Until next time, bye, and please subscribe to our channel.